And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Hippodraco, which was a request by Elrex via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. So Hippodraco was an iguanodontian ornithopod that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Utah in the U.S., in the yellow cat member of the Cedar Mountain Formation, so it's northeast of Arches National Park. It was an herbivore, and it was small and gracile. It was estimated to be about 15 feet, or 4.5 meters long, and weigh between 500 and 1,000 pounds. That's 227 to 454 kilograms. So you're adding a small ornithopod to our small theropod episode. Yes, although this ornithopod is bigger than half of the theropods you talked about. <laughs> That's true. Maybe three quarters. <laughs> Maybe three quarters, yeah. <laughs> Hippodraco may have been bigger if the holotype is a juvenile. So maybe it wasn't that small. So the holotype is possibly a juvenile. It's UMNHVP20208. We are joining the giving out specimen collection numbers party. Sometimes. I don't think I'll have them memorized the way you do. I don't have many memorized. You know more than me. <laughs> anyway, the holotype for Hippodraco includes a nearly complete skull, dentary teeth, vertebrae, right humerus, right scapula, left ischium, right tibia, right femur, and left metatarsals, and it had a large orbital in the skull. That's why they think it's possibly a juvenile. Hmm. It probably looks like other iguanodonts with a bulky body, and the foot bones, the metatarsus, looked similar to Camptosaurus and Iguanodon. Hippodraco had this unique shelf bone that extended along the lower jaw that's parallel to the tooth row sets. Part of the skull was crushed, and a lot of the bones were crushed, and the brain case was poorly preserved. The dentary teeth were in situ, but they weren't well preserved. They were cracking and fragmented. However, the shelf bone on the lower jaw looked to be a distinctive feature, and not a pathology or deformation. The type and only species is Hippodraco scutodens, and the genus name means horse dragon. <laughs> yeah, it's just like hippopotamus translates, I think, to like water horse. Yeah, and Hippodraco had this elongate head like a horse. The species name means shield tooth and refers to the shield-shaped dentary tooth crowns. Like the scutes on ankylosaurus, same root word there. Mm -hmm. I like the analogy of ornithopods to horses. They always seem a little more horse-like than cow-like to me. <laughs> <laughs> you think they can run faster? <laughs> yeah, and they, the head too, I agree. In general, more so than like a duck bill, it's more like a actual horse head, mm -hmm. I would say. Although horses have really weird heads. Right. Because they have that big soft nose, so they sort of end in a point on the skull. It's kind of weird looking. And hadrosaurs, don't we now think a lot of them had beaks? Yes, which is more like a duck than horses that have big fleshy lips. Mm. So Hippodraca was found in 2004 by Andrew Milner, and the site where it was found is known as Andrew's Site. And then it was named in 2010 by a different Andrew, Andrew McDonald and others. <laughs> Fragments of other specimens were found at the site, but there's not enough fossils to know if they belong to Hippodraco. Hippodraco is part of the subgroup Styracosterna, and its closest relative is Theophytalia, an iguanodontian. And Hippodraco helped show that early Cretaceous iguanodonts in North America were more primitive than iguanodonts in Europe and Asia that lived at the same time. Hippodraco lived around small lakes with slow-moving rivers in an area with a seasonally dry climate. And other dinosaurs that lived at the same time and place included ornithopods, like Iguana Colossus, sauropods, like Cedarosaurus, theropods like Martha Raptor, Notosaurids like Gastonia, and Dromaeosaurids like Utah Raptor. Can't have an early Cretaceous Utah fauna without Utah Raptor. Mm hmm. I mean, I guess you can because it wasn't around for all the early Cretaceous, but. Right. And it wasn't Utah until recently. <laughs> Very true. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.